All right, so thanks for uh, watching my videos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Gustavo Lefuribe, and I'm gonna share you some recording artist tips or performing artist tips, whatever. Um, I just did a video on checking my notes here on uh, vocals and breathing techniques 101. So check that out if you haven't. Now, because this one's gonna kind of build on top of that and vocal delivery and microphone techniques. Okay, so if you watch the video I just did, I explained the different uh, timbres and play air placements that you can do on your voice. Um, and stylistically, you know, they're going to use different placements and different whatevers. Uh, now I'm going to share with you guys how that translates to mic how that translates to microphone technique, okay? All right, here's a microphone, folks. Um, this is a stage mic, um, but you, these concepts uh, will, uh, you can use them for any microphone, okay? Now, for this stage mic, you want to hold it like this, actually, and you want the axis, axis to go right here. So you don't want to hold it like this. You don't want to hold it like, well, you know, well, when you're doing it like that, you're kind of covering it. It looks cool, but you're covering it. But technically, you want to hold it like this, um, so the the because the actual uh, microphone, if you can see it, it it's a spring coil, and that's how the air pressure hits the spring coil. The spring coil move vibrates, and then it goes down, and converts it to an electric signal. All right. So for this particular mic. Um, you watch my mic video if you haven't, but basically they have different uh, patterns, how they, how, what, how they're like electromagnetic pickup uh, patterns or whatever. So for this one, it's gonna hit it like that. So for this stage mic in particular, um, you wanna, you wanna be on axis uh, like this. All right. Now for other mics like a condenser mic or ribbon mic it's actually gonna um it's gonna be like this and it's be, if it's cardioid that means it's a heart and it goes like this and a little bit on the back if it's a ribbon mic it's probably gonna be figure eight so it's gonna pick up here and then here too so like on this side and this side it wouldn't pick up as well um so anyways now how does this how, what, what's the point of what i'm talking about okay so now that you know vocal technique, right? The the pretty much it's you you gonna have to think about as uh, if you're on stage, let's just say you're on stage, and you're doing really 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 loud forte, you wanna hold the mic away from you, right? And think of this distance as kind of like a volume, okay? Loud, quiet loud quiet okay so if you're really really loud like opera style hold it kind of further out and test it and you have the monitors you'll hear yourself and you just kind of see where that where's the distance where you need to go another thing um, is um, uh, let's see the distance right now that's for stage mics now when you're you, when you're recording in the studio and you're using like a condenser or a, or a ribbon, let's say it's right here, just pretend this is a condenser or ribbon mic. Usually, the same kind of thing, you kind of have to step like how how loud you kind of are. Most, like if you say if you're a rapper or if you're kind of seeing kind of like, like kind of like this, yeah, 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 like, um, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 like, hit my guitar, blah, 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 like, kind of, like, sweet style, or whatever, um, serenading the ladies type of thing, then you want to get kind of closer to the mic, um, and the thing to consider with cardioid or ribbon mics is that they're like, mi they're like microscopes, so you don't have to be too loud, you don't have to do too much, because it's very, 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 very sensitive, so it's actually like the more quieter, the better. Um, you still have to be supported, right? But you kind of talk like this. And as long as you're supported, 
then the, the, the sound that you're going to make is going to be uniform, right? And it's going to sound good. Do your warm-ups, obviously, before you start doing this. Watch my videos. And then uh, you can get kind of close like this and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Again, if you're more aggressive, then kind of be a little bit further out. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 right? Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. And then you could kind of play with it. Um, some things to consider if, if you, uh, you know, just be aware, like, if you sound nasally, like Eminem or whatever, it's going to sound nasally, all right? If you want to sound smooth and stuff, then it's probably going to be here. If you want to sound like if you're actually singing or something, then you probably want to do that rainbow thing where it goes like, where it's kind of pla placing like that. Um, and just be aware of what placement, uh, what kind of sounds you're trying to get. So, because your body is an instrument, right? So what kind of, what, what, tam what, um, part of the body are you going to be resonating the most and, uh, to get the, the, timbre and the placement of the sound right you're kind of like eqing your your vocal tone right that's kind of what it is um essentially so figure that out and then figure out what microphone um you want to use to best enhance that or to complement that um watch my microphone video uh I'll put it at the link in the description um and pretty much yeah so you're gonna have to play with it um, obviously you're not gonna you know learn this overnight and just like oh yeah blah blah, blah. like you're gonna have to kind of really understand what your body sounds like and I've noticed for myself personally um, I kind of have like a strong voice and I don't and it's kind of nasally ish um, I think I don't know it sounds nasally when I hear it when I warm up, it sounds better, you know, um, but I've noticed that I kind of have like a strong voice. It just kind of like really like kind of cuts or whatever. So what I've had to do in my personal experience is learn how to really, really hold back. Um, I've been really experimenting with uh, my last album, Cholo 2.0, uh, and, I, and I recorded two more albums, but they're not mastered yet. I just need to get some money to finish it but whatever that's another story um i i had the ribbon mic and i used this type of tone and really really smooth really really like kind of snoop doggish um just like really laid, laid, laid back relax and i found that for my voice that i like to use most often um obviously i'm not going to rap the same or do the same thing um it really study like michael jackson he was a genius on vocal vocal and microphone technique um and he could change his voice depending on what song he was singing um so yeah it's pretty it's pretty amazing and his and his um his vocal techniques where he did the hic hiccups and the <laughs> that i can't even do it um and the who like that's like a falsetto like you know who who you know like that and then the you know, like all the crazy, all the cool stuff that he did. So anyways, I'm just throwing that out there. But whatever. Um, you're going to have to, as an artist, you're going to have to find what works for you and how to make it sound better. Um, yeah, if you have more questions about this, if you want me to go in more detail, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to answer questions. So thanks for watching. All right, cool.